Okay, let's talk about some beams. In for some beams, we need, uh, beams we need <clears throat> a physical sky and some conditions. For sun beams, we need a sun that is in a good direction. Yeah, that's a good. And we need the clouds that a sun is behind them and the sun rays passing through them and we have like a god ray uh, effects. And going to the basic, turn on the cloud. And as you can see, this cloud is not good. You have to change the clouds density. For example, the coverage of distance more coverage and thickness and something like this sun goes from here it's very difficult to simulate that but in some cases it will be uh, sun from that kind of uh, be here and uh, beams going through like this this is a sun Beams that you want to create. We need a special condition of uh, the clouds. But in a, if you and then you need to activate sun beams from here. And from sun beams, we have it. the turbidity in the beams is very the turbidity is very important <clears throat> for rainbow. Uh, for sunbeams, it's a haze uh, atmosphere. It gives you a more dense and uh, nice weather for to simulate such a distance in your sky. Turbidity dependent, it means it dependent into your turbidity that you can control it here. Turbidity, and as you can see, if you increase it, we have more dense and haze color here and atmospheric strengths okay and let's see other settings intensity of course how many strengths of your beams minimum or maximum minimum brightness is this for darker or brightness brightening of your beams for example here we are superimpose bright beams and here we have a light beams you can control this brightness but that start distance and end distance uh, it's it's from where your beams start and to where it's end you can um, control the length of your beams like this sample distance is very important you can you can uh, change your quality of lower number more quality or higher number bad quality but the lower number don't forget to render time and see as you can see if you see these effects you have very bad quality of your sun beams so you have to increase the decrease or number of your sample radius and nice I think I'm wrong. The sample distance here, uh, as you can see, we have a give a higher number. I said vice versa. Sorry. Uh, in this case, uh, you have a high, need a higher number to sample distance. If you give a lower number, you have the bad quality like this. This is a lower number of the sample distance. Okay, this is a sun beam. Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.